Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of dancing plants animation in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.4 nice. So first of all let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first let's import a character along with the animation so for that i will be using mixamo just hop on to mixamo.com select the character select the animation so here i got this dancing animation and i have selected this character after selecting both character and animation just click on this download button and here you can select fbx format and download so once the download is done we need to import that in blender here we are in blender now so go to this file option, import, it is an FBX file. So select this FBX, locate the file and import. So here you can see we got the character. So let's increase the scaling. So in order to increase the scaling, make sure that armature is selected, press S and increase the scaling. And I will increase this frame rate also. So I think the animation will be up to 650 frames. Let's check this. So if I drag this here and if i move it so it is more than 650 so let's say okay so come to the last frame it is 660 so i'll change this end frame value to 660 frames okay so we got the character along with the animation right so now if i play this you can see we got the character with the animation so now let's import another free asset that will be available easily so here i got this plant asset from sketchfab download link in the description if you want to use the same and thanks for the creator for providing them freely to use in the projects so here first let me import some plants so go to this file option import so those plants are also fbx format so here i will select this fbx here i got this fbx file so i will select all the plants and import here we got that so let's place them aside first let's place them aside so let it be here and first thing we need to do is we need to change the pivot point of these individual plants to the bottom so if i select this plant you can see the pivot point is at this position so here i want this pivot point to be at the bottom of this plant so for that select the plant press tab on the keyboard for edit mode being in edit mode select this vertex change this to vertex selection and select this bottom vertex here after that shift s and select this cursor to select it so now we got the 3d origin point here so after that press tab to exit this edit mode now go to this object set origin origin to 3d cursor now you can see we got the pivot point to the bottom of the object so in this way i will arrange this pivot point to rest of the plants so now i have placed the pivot point at the bottom of the object nice so now select all the plants press m on the keyboard and create a new collection press m and select on this new collection and let's rename this to plants so we got these plants in one collection and we got the animation in another collection so let's rename this now select the character let's hide out the armature so select the armature hide it out in viewport so select the mesh and here if i drop down this this is the base mesh right so if i hide this out you can see we got these two objects so first let's join them so select everything ctrl plus j to join and make it a single object so now we got this in a single object now select this particle system being selected our character select this particle system click on this plus icon and emitter change it to hair so we got this hair particles on our character so for time being let the number be thousand only reduce the hair length so here i reduce the hair length like one and come to this render settings here instead of this here we want these plants on the mesh so for that change this render as from path to collection change this to collection and in this collection we need to select the plants 
so now you can see we got plants on this character so let's increase the scaling a bit so here i'll increase the scaling to 0.25 so i think this much is fine and let's bring some randomness so i'll change this to okay i think 0.5 is fine so if i play this we got the plants on the mesh but they are acting weirdly so let's fix that so select the character enable this advanced option so now we got this rotation option before that if it is disabled we won't get that rotation so make sure enable this advanced and enable this rotation option drop down and in orientation change it to normal so now all the plants will be aligned properly and if i play this this will be looking much better nice so now in order to bake this simulation first we need to enable the hair dynamics so if i scroll up you can see the hair dynamics right first we need to enable this one after that we will get this cache option so drop down here set the frame to 660 as my time length is of 660 frames so i change this to 660 frames so here i have set the end frame to 660 depending on the timeline you can set this end value so now in order to get this dish catch enabled first we need to save the file so let's save this quickly so now the file is saved and we got this dish catch enabled so enable this dish catch option and i will leave this to use library path only so after that if you want to have this emitter here the emitter is mesh right if you want to hide this emitter in the render we need to uncheck this emitter value let me show so here we got this show emitter right just uncheck this show emitter option this will not get rendered out. we will get only plants visible while rendering so after that come to the cache options where is this come to this cache options and click on this bake button so now the bake is done and we got plants on our character nice so now let's move on to this second portion where the particles will be emitting that means flowers from this mesh so for that we will be using another flowers collection so let's import those flower models also same as like plants we did so go to this file import those are also fbx files so select this fbx and here i got this individual flowers i will select all the three and by the way i will leave a link in the description for these flowers also you can download them so here we got these flowers right so make sure whichever objects you are using it should be individual so this is separate this is separate and this flower is separate so now select everything press m on the keyboard and create a new collection so i will rename this as flowers and okay so now we got these flowers in this flower collection so now let's place this aside now select this character along with the mesh and let's enable this armature so let's duplicate this so right click duplicate collection so this is main so i will rename this to main and this one i will change this to particles So here we got two collections. So if I select this one armature and if I move this, you can see we got two characters with the same animation and having the same particles. So let's break it here. So you can see we got this both. So now come to this particles one, select the armature, you can hide this out, expand it, select the mesh, come to this particles, just remove this one. So we got rid of plants on the mesh so let's hide out this main you can see we got only mesh now so select the mesh now select the particles once again and add new particles let it be emitter now so previously we have selected here so for this we will be selecting this emitter so if i play this we will get some particles emitting from the character so now instead of these particles we will be using flowers so for that scroll down come to the render options so here you can see the render options right change it to collections and in collection select flowers so now we got the flowers falling down so let's increase the scaling a bit so i'll increase the scaling a bit here and let's see now let's reduce the scaling 
so if i move to this shading viewport so now if i play this you can see we got the petals falling down so here come to the particle settings once again so here we want the end frame to be 660 frames so change it according to your time frame so here the time length is of 660 frames so i'll change this to 660 and the lifetime i want this to be visible throughout the timeline so i'll change this to 6 60 frames okay life randomness i will give a bit of value here and after that i think this is fine so here i don't want these petals to fall down so i'll create a ground plane and add a collision property so go to this add mesh select a plane so where is this plane so here we got the plane right so let's place it here press s and increase the scaling let it be here press one on the keyboard for front view and let it be here okay so let's mod this viewport select this plane come to this physics property and add collision so if i play this you can see the petals are bouncing so now we need to play with the values of this plane so select the plane scroll down so in particles let's increase the friction value to one and stickness i will add it a bit and let's check this so now they are not bouncing that much okay so now i want to make these petals to go back away that means we want these petals to be flown away while this character is dancing so for that we need to add a force field so let's increase the ground plane in y-axis a bit like this fine so let's add a force field here so move on to the first frame go to this add come to this force field and add wind so where is we got wind here so let's place this before to the character and press s and increase the scaling rotate it so sell this rotate tool press control hold control key and rotate it in 5 degree angle so i think this is fine and let's give it a strength of let it be 20 and now check this so if i play this now you can see the petals are getting away from the character if you want to give it a bit of strength you can increase the value here and i think i need to reduce the friction a bit so i will reduce the friction and also i will rotate this here okay so now if i play this the petals will be flown away nice so this is looking good so now select the character we need to bake this simulation so select the character come to this particle settings and enable this disk catchy option to save the data and after that click on this bake button so it starts to bake the simulation so now the bake is done and if i play this now you can see we got the particles blown away fine and one thing i forgot to mention so in the same way if you don't want to have this emitter visible so here the mesh will be emitted right if you don't want to have this in render scroll down in particle settings scroll down to this render option and make sure this show emitter is disabled so by disabling this this character will not be visible in the render nice so let's bring back our main character with the trees and let's check this whether it got the emitter options okay this is also hideout fine so now let's move on to this material viewport let's give this plain a color so add material new so i'll change this to dark black and if you want to add any texture you can do that so once this is done you can add light camera and render this out scene perfectly so in this way we can do this kind of animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye